Welcome or welcome back to Dining Help SC Square. In this example, we're going to find the derivative of these two functions, and I'm going to use what is called the chain rule, which is down here. And also, I'm going to use the quotient rule because on both example A and B, we have two quotient. So let's start with the first one y prime, the derivative of y, it's the derivative with respect of x of this quotient, 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the quotient rule, which said do the derivative of the numerator first, the derivative of 1 times the denominator minus, now keep the 1, the numerator, and do the derivative of the denominator. And do not forget, over the denominator, square root of 1 minus x squared, squared. So this is the quotient rule. So now let's see what we get here. The derivative of 1 is 0. So 0 times square root of 1 minus x squared is 0, minus. And now let's take a look at the derivative of this radical, which I'm going to use the chain rule. I'm going to have 1 over 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared. So this is the derivative of a square root of an expression. And now by the chain rules, I'm going to do the derivative with respect of x of this expression under the square root, which is 1 minus x squared over um, square root of 1 minus x squared squared. It's going to be 1 minus x squared. So let's see what we get on the next step. And I'm going to have negative 1 over 2 square root of 1 minus x squared, the first part of the numerator of this complex fraction, times the derivative of 1 minus x squared, it's negative 2x over 1 minus x squared. And you notice here these two cancel out. The negative also cancel out. And the final answer will be x over 1 minus x squared times square root of 1 minus x squared. This is y prime or dy over dx. Now we can move to part b, which is very similar with this one. We have a quotient and we need to find the derivative f prime of x, which is going to be the derivative with respect of x of x over square root of x squared minus 1. And here we're going to have what? We're going to have first the derivative with respect of x of this x, the numerator, and that will be 1 times the denominator, square root of x squared minus 1, minus now we're going to keep the numerator x and we're going to do the derivative of the denominator, which is again is a square root 1 over 2 times the square root, in this case square root of x squared minus 1, and times by the chain rules the derivative of x squared minus 1, which is 2x. So you notice here I move a little bit faster. If you can do that, that will be great. If not, go slow like in the previous uh, part A. Don't forget, the denominator of this complex fraction is what? Square root of x squared minus 1 squared. So you notice, like I said, I apply the chain rule and the quotient rule in this step. Now we're going to do simplification here. And the first thing I'm going to have here is square root of x squared minus 1 minus... The two twos cancel out this one, and I'm going to have x squared over square root of x squared minus 1 over, and for the denominator of this complex fraction, we're going to have just x squared minus 1. So what can we do here? We can uh, simplify this rational expression, and we're going to have here x squared minus 1 minus x squared over x squared minus 1 times square root of x squared minus 1. So what I did, I 
combine the two expressions that are part of the numerator and I get this part and then I move this denominator down here so the final answer for this f prime of x f prime of x will be Uh, neg negative one or just negative one over the quantity of x square minus one times square root of x square minus one and that's it if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-squared for more help. Thank you.